What's up my fellow Yugi tubers? You know who it is, traditional Yu-Gi-Oh, aka Tech Rec. And today guys, we are doing something very very special. Uh this is going to be the very first time that I show you this album. Um it is a mini collector's album and it is not yet complete and I hate showing you guys stuff when it is not complete, but I feel you guys have been with me for a while now and I feel you guys deserve to see uh into my secret collection and uh, I guess that's what I'll be naming this video because it just came to me but uh, welcome to the first part of my secret collection something that I have never showed you guys something that you guys are gonna love and uh, this has taken a long time to collect and these cards in this uh, little album are worth a lot of money and um, yeah guys they are just very awesome cards so we will be taking a look at it and it is not yet complete so please please bear with me <sighs> all right da -da -da -da. here we go okay guys so the first six cards that you will be seeing are from the 2002 uh, tin collections and uh, they are mint condition of course everything I collect is mint condition I'm gonna stop saying that because you guys should fucking know everything I collect is mint condition um, here we have a Dark Magician uh, from Tim number 1, BPT numero uno. We have Summon Skull, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Lord of Dragon, or Lord of D. And these are also from 2002, the first uh, 10 collections. They I just have room for four cards, so I had to throw them on the next page. So here is Red Eyes Black Dragon and Black Skull Dragon. All of those are from 2002, guys. Moving on to 2003 10 collections. Uh, I'm not like Simply Unlucky or, or Juggalo Ian who are awesome Yugi tubers uh, who have collected this stuff for the longest time and then finally opened it on video. Uh, before I even got into YouTube, I, j I just opened shit and I collected it on my own. I never kept the tins or anything like that. So uh, trying to collect this stuff again and trying to make videos is a lot harder. That's why I call myself traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! Because all of this stuff that you guys see, the only other person that I really know who's into old school is Juggalo Ian. Uh, but I still do believe I, I have one of the greatest old school collections of all time because almost everything you could think of old school I fucking have. Anyway, I have a Dark Magician from 2003, BPT number 7, Buster Blader over here. We have a Blue Eyes White Dragon, XYZ Dragon Cannon, and of course... Jinzo along with Kierfried the Iron Knight and this was actually the very first Jinzo that I actually won from that guy I remember I told you guys a story about how when I was a kid and I rode my bicycle home because I beat some guy for his Jinzo in a duel and I never gave it back or a chance to win this was the Jinzo I won from him and uh, it's been like this ever since so freaking awesome all right moving on to the 2004 tens so this right here is Total Defense Shotgun, Blade Knight. Over here we have a Command Knight, Swift Gaia, the Fierce Knight, uh, Insect Queen, and Obnoxious Celtic Guard. And I still remember I wanted to be like Joey back in the day, and I wanted to have Jinzo, Insect Queen, and the Legendary Fisherman. And when I finally tracked all three cards down, I was fucking excited. I was like 10 years old. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm like Joey. I have all the cards he has, and I thought I was badass. But, yeah. Uh, over here we have a gear... Uh, uh, before uh, I say it, it's a 2005. Now we're on to 2005. So we have a gear Ford the Lightning. Uh, X X uh, X Yarn Universe. I always forget how to pronounce it. Then we have a Borse Raider, Dark Magician Girl, a Rocket Warrior, and a Panther Warrior. And after that, guys, I didn't collect 2006 just because that's when like GX started. Uh, so I really didn't want to collect it. Uh, if you guys do want to see me collect uh, past GX and onto like 5D and all the new ones, I don't even know what they're called. Um, let me know. Uh, whatever you guys want, I will try to collect it eventually. And uh, yeah, guys. So that's like the first fourth of this album. All of it is two, um, the tins from 2002 all the way to 2005. And they are all mint condition and they all mean a lot. Because <laughs> it took me a long time to collect it. Okay, so now moving on to promo cards. Cards that were made from... 
like games and stuff or PS2 from Game Boy all just just from games that came with games that you purchased so <clears throat> these are from Duelists of Roses uh, this is Alpha, Beta and Gamma uh, I have two Gammas right here and I also have uh, two off I have two Betas, two Alphas and two Gammas uh, because when I actually purchased these right here from uh, CMC uh, the guy actually threw in a set of uh, Duelists of Roses. I was I was pretty psyched. I was like, hell yeah, dude. He fucking gave me an extra Duelists of Roses promo card. So I was pretty pretty excited. Uh, so over here, guys, we have a CMC. We have a Abyss Soldier. Inferno Hammer. And we have a, a Tibia. <laughs> Tibia. Alright, here's another list of uh, promos. Exchange. Graceful Dice, Skull Dice. <clears throat> uh, over here we have uh, Valkyria the Magna Warrior, Sinister Serpent, and Harpy's Feather Duster. And this is the reason I didn't want to show you guys uh, my collection, just because of these two empty spots right here. Um, I'm really sad to say this, guys, but uh, the next set is from the DDS. Uh, and uh, I don't have Blue Eyes yet or Dark Magician and yeah I usually do say that I have everything old school but yeah this is something I still haven't tracked down guys uh, I'm trying but I mean I've already tracked them down I know how to get them where to get them they're just too fucking expensive Dark Magician I will buy it one day just because I know the cheapest one I can get uh, Min Condition is probably like 60 bucks but as far as blue eyes mint condition they're going for like 300 bucks minimum guys and that that's just a lot of money right now I, I can't I can't afford that on a fucking card which eventually I will buy uh, believe me I will because I, I have to have the full collection but this is why I didn't want to show you but bear with me guys so of course this is where blue eyes would have went this is where dark magician would have went <laughs> and uh, moving on I have Exodia of course uh, from DDS and then I have the easier ones to get, uh, uh, Syriu and uh, Acid Trap Hole. Of course, everybody almost has these, but yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, Sal Salmendra. Okay, guys, so moving on to uh, the second half. Here are the original GBIs. Uh, here we have Slifer, Obelisk, and the Winged Dragon of Raw. And for the Winged Dragon of Raw, I actually have... Uh, I have two of them <laughs> from the original GBIs. Uh, I've always gotten lucky, and I guess I'm really cool with people, so they've always thrown in extra extra shit, I guess. And uh, this guy actually threw in an original GBI uh, when I purchased a lot on eBay, and I was pretty psyched. I was like, hell yeah, man, now I have two of them. It's pretty exciting. But yeah, those are the original GBIs. Now here is something I, I just picked up recently. And uh, these cards were so awesome of the guy to give me such a great deal on them. I mean, Harpy's Pet Dragon, guys, uh, Min Condition. Uh, this card right here is going for a minimum of like probably $30 on eBay. He sold me the entire collection for like 20 bucks, guys. So I was like, fuck yeah, I was pretty excited. Because here's FMR, the, the full collection. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Harpy's Pet Dragon and Metamorph and I am so psyched because damn, they are just so good looking like here let me I shouldn't even do this but I'm, I just want to show you guys how fucking good this card looks watch you guys see this it is like flawless like there is not one nick scratch anything like this guy, he knew how to collect his shit and how to keep it in mint condition. And it is just so flawless. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it is like perfect. It's even straight. That's what got me is that it was so straight. Um, we have like a little blemish right here probably from when I grabbed it. But other than that, guys, I mean, it is it is in pretty mint condition and freaking awesome. But, there you guys go. That's FMR. Um, over here we have TFK. We have Zoa. I used to remember Zoa. Zoa was pretty bad. But, 
it was kind of useless to me. I mean, two 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 sacrifice monsters for twenty six hundred could have sacrificed a blue and blew his shit up. Uh, to complete TFK, we have a uh, Metal Zoa along with Goblin Van. And this is the last set that I've collected recently, which is a TSC. It is a perfectly ultimate great moth, along with Ryo, uh, Ryoku, Ru Ryuku, I don't know how to pronounce that, and a Negate Attack. And uh, I still have enough room for like probably another 20 cards. I'm trying to do like nothing but promos and tins and just stuff that's really collectible that you really can't get anymore. Um... So, yeah, guys, this was a peek into the secret vault, I guess, of traditional Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so I hope you guys really appreciate this album because it is very hard to find. I mean, believe me, all these cards are hard to find. Um, but, yeah, guys, that was uh, part one of traditional Yu-Gi-Oh's collector album. Or, uh, how should I call it? Uh... Part 1 of Traditional Yu-Gi-Oh's Secret Vault. There we go. I like that one. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, I will be showing you more stuff that I have never even talked about. Uh, stuff that I have collected over the years and that is very awesome to me. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Uh, like this video. Share this video. I hope you guys have a great day. This is Traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! A.K.A. Tech Rec. And I am signing off. Peace.